Hey, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to share with you a holiday food haul. So I'm actually in the south of Sweden at our summer house and since the house that we own doesn't have any water or electricity, it's just an empty shell, we are living in a caravan in the garden. So in here we have like a very limited space in uh, in the fridge, in the freezer. It's like the smallest freezer in the world. So we can't really have too much frozen things and the fridge is very small as well. So we have to be very clever about the food that we buy. And also it's a very simple kitchen here. So we can't really uh, make elaborate uh, dishes. So everything we buy is very healthy and very easy to cook. I also just want to apologize for the bad lighting, but the important part is that you can see all of the food. You don't really need to see me. And I also just want to say that we bought this yesterday, so that's why we don't have that much fruit left and vegetables because we have been eating it both yesterday and today. So first up, let's talk about the frozen section or the only thing that's frozen because as I said, the freezer is so so tiny and that is frozen broccoli. My family chose to buy some broccoli because everyone in my family loves broccoli and I guess it's cheaper to buy it frozen than fresh. We often don't buy fresh broccoli for some reason, uh, but yeah. As I said before, it's so convenient to just boil some water and have like cook it up on the stove top. So that's why we have some convenient frozen broccoli. And sorry, it's these like super super tiny like small black flies. They are like everywhere. I'm like covered in them, and <laughs> they are like they're biting me. So it's like itches. So if I'm doing something like this, it's because of them. <laughs> And yeah, let me put this back in the freezer and I will be right back. Okay, so now I can relax because the broccoli is in the freezer again. And we can start over here with the oats. And as I said, like I eat oatmeal every day for breakfast and so does my like, the rest of my family. Um, and these will last, I don't know, a week or so. Uh, depends on how much oats we eat. <laughs> and... Yeah, we just have them for breakfast and that's it. I don't know what else to say about the oats. Uh, next up we have some white wine vinegar. And my sisters and I love to just like um, drizzle it over some like p cooked potatoes or we do some sort of like vinaigrette with the beans and corn and that's really good. So if you want to have like a super super easy like, I don't want to say like a sauce recipe because it's not a recipe, but like a tip to just pour some white wine vinegar over your potatoes or rice or beans or vegetables. That's really good. At least my sisters and I really love it. And if you like that uh, vinegar taste, um, I do. So that's the only like sauce or dressing we have here. Uh, but that's really easy because it. it doesn't need to be in the fridge. Um, it can just be in the pantry. Uh, next up we have couscous and that's also a very like convenient thing. We just boil some water and pour it over the couscous and let it sit for like five minutes and that's all done. So I think we're gonna have that for dinner tonight together with some cooked vegetables and some beans. And then we bought some a pineapple like in a can uh, also very convenient uh, as a like a dessert we're gonna have that at some night and after dinner and yeah next up we have uh, beans and legumes uh, so we have black beans uh, chickpeas uh, red and green lentils we had some uh, kidney beans as well, but we ate them <laughs> for lunch today and also for dinner yesterday. I really love um, kidney beans. We just mixed the kidney beans with some corn and some chickpeas. And yeah, just mixed them all up and uh, 
ate them with potatoes and the white wine vinegar and some veggies and it was really good so that's why also <laughs> one corn is missing from here because we had that for lunch and next uh, we have a uh, what's it called uh, cabbage <laughs> I'm losing my English words here uh, cabbage and yeah I'm like sometimes we do eat uh, cabbage raw but my favorite way of eating cabbage is when it's um, when it's boiled uh, so we're probably gonna boil some cabbage for like breakfast or like part one of the breakfast because I, as I've been saying before uh, I I always eat all my meals um, like half vegetables and half like starches so that's why I have cabbage for breakfast okay so next up we have some tomatoes and apples and paraguays I think they're called and as I said we have been eating them for a snack today so we don't have that much left and yeah we always just buy some fresh fruits and vegetables that don't have to sit in the fridge and yeah we just have them as a snack during the day or um, dessert or whenever we want some fruit and also of course fruit on our oatmeal in the morning and then we have bananas and as you know I like to have like a big stash of bananas so they can ripe because these are not ripe yet we had these for breakfast this morning and I could tell they weren't sweet at all uh, so we're gonna try to let the, these ripe for a couple of days and then we're gonna eat them and then we have a big bag of potatoes and we buy like we try to buy all of our fruits and vegetables or produce in these like produce bags we have there's like a big one it's like medium size and a small one and as much as we can we buy them like this but as you see like the carrots come in plastic and we can't really choose so but as much as we can we try to buy with as uh, little plastic as possible so yeah potatoes are like a must we always just boil a big pot of potatoes and then we just keep them in the fridge so we had potatoes last night and then we made more than we uh, ate then and then we just put them in the fridge and took them out for lunch today and I actually sometimes prefer eating cold potatoes over like freshly cooked warm potatoes I mean depends on the mood but I really like cold potatoes so yeah potatoes are definitely a must and that's something that we're gonna eat very quickly I guess and I don't know how long this is gonna last us just I don't know two days three days I mean some these things are gonna last longer but I mean we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables so we're gonna go through this quite quickly and then yeah as i said we have carrots and then we have some cauliflower um i don't really love to eat cauliflower raw uh, i prefer to cook it because it leaves like a strange feeling in my mouth let me know if you feel the same but i prefer eating cauliflower cooked uh, then we have the corn as i talked about before that we just mixed with the um, lentils and uh, beans and yeah I just I love my uh, corn and lentils and beans together with some vinegar <laughs> uh, then some cinnamon of course for the oatmeal in the morning and then we actually have two squash or zucchinis uh, these we didn't buy we got them from our neighbors that was so so sweet of them because they have like a big patch of zucchinis or squash and they were so nice to gift some to us so I'm really looking forward I think we're gonna eat these tonight together with the couscous and yeah I'm really looking forward to these because that's the best isn't it when it's like really locally made we're just surrounded by fields in like every direction so yeah that's really nice of our neighbors to give some squash or zucchinis to us so I'm really thankful for that and then we have a pepper um, I'm not the biggest fan of raw peppers to be honest um, I mean I like it if I do like a salad or something but just eating it as it is it's 
it's okay but I do love like if you have it in the oven uh, we don't have an oven here uh, so we're probably just gonna cut it up in a salad and then the last thing is bread <laughs> this is a like locally made bread and I'm not really eating bread too often but <clears throat> sometimes I do eat bread and I especially make those exceptions when it's uh, homemade or locally made or something like that with really simple ingredients. So yeah, I just find it really nice to try locally made things and I had some of this bread uh, yesterday evening when we all sat here around the table playing games together and yeah, this is my little food haul, what we bought yesterday and I hope you got some inspiration and I always find that the food tastes so much better here than it does back home because even though I am eating so much more simple meals here it tastes better because I'm like really appreciating everything here because living like this very simply makes you really think about the what like the water you use and electricity and everything so now when I'm I don't have any running water and I have have to be clever when I'm preparing my food and doing the dishes uh, it makes me think even more about it when I get back home to not waste too much water and to be very like resource resourceful with the things I do have so I hope this gave you some ideas on what type of food you can buy and make really simple meals with so please let me know in the comments down below what kind of meals you make with a few ingredients and I would love to know to get some more tips uh, so I can make some new dishes <laughs> uh, even though I love to make the same things over and over again thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one hey Doa!